There are two typical types of rain harvesting systems. Wet, also known as charged systems, and dry systems. A dry system is one where there's no water held in the pipes in between rainfall events. The pipes come down from the roof, ideally through a rain head, and then the pipes run directly to the tank. It's a straightforward design, which is best suited if you want to connect just a portion of your roof to your rainwater tank. If you connect more of your roof to your tank though, you will likely have, or you'll require, a wet system. This is where the downpipes will come down from the roof, then travel underground to the tank before rising up into your tank inlet. They need to travel underground because it would be impractical to run the downpipes around the perimeter of your building. The water in your charge system will be full up to the level of the tank inlet, like you can see here. So when it rains, water builds up on this end of the downpipe and then the head pressure will push the water through the pipes and into your tank. A dry system is a straightforward design which will require minimal management. You will still require a progressive layer of protection, such as rain heads and a first flush on the pipe to reduce its chance of sediment and debris entering your tank. It's important that your tank has a tank screen installed to prevent any pests entering it. A wet system always has water sitting in it, so it needs a little bit more management. Any debris and nutrients sitting in these pipes can cause the water to go off or potentially become odorous over time. This happens through a process called anaerobic fermentation, which is a natural process which occurs when the organic materials decompose in an oxygen-starved environment. If you think about the pipes under your house, they've got a really poor level of oxygenation because there's water sitting in them all the time. The two tactics to prevent this from happening are to stop organic matter getting into the pipes to start with and to periodically drain the water lines. To stop debris entering the pipes, a rain head can be installed at the start of the system. A rain head will also stop mosquitoes from entering the dam pipes, which is really important because the pipes are holding water in between rainfall events. Draining the water in the lines will reduce the chance of anaerobic fermentation because there'll be no water for the organic matter to decompose in. Depending on how much water you can afford to discharge, it's up to you how often this happens. If you have a lot of sediment or debris in your system, it's better to do this more regularly. Draining the lines can be done manually with a sliding gate valve, or you can do it automatically with a wet dry valve. Regardless of which system you have, as long as you include progressive layers of protection to keep pests and debris out, it'll help you get the best quality water. If you'd like to learn more about our systems, just jump onto the website.